Hi, this is Raheem Sulfa Karali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will be learning how to use field parameters in Microsoft Power BI. So field parameters uh, basically allow users to dynamically change the measures or dimensions being analyzed within the report. And this feature can help your report readers to explore and customize the analysis of the report by selecting the different measures or dimensions they are interested in. So, okay, so let's get start. Uh, I have imported the data. Okay, so you can see here. I will go to modeling tab, click on new parameter and here you can click on fields. So it will open up a window where first you will give a name. Chosen field or any other name you would like to give. Okay then you will expand your table and you will select those fields you want, want to include so let's say if i add category city and then pro payment type product name okay so i have selected four fields here you can select more than four or less than four as well and make sure that you have check mark add slicer to this page click on create okay so now you can see uh, this visual as a slicer and we will do some formatting so i will click on this add or remove visual element go into more options and go to slicer settings and here i will select uh, to instead of uh, vertical list in the style i will select tile and resize this okay you can also change the font size as well so let's increase the font size okay all right now next is to add a visual so let's add a visual that would be clustered column chart and let add a field of revenue so we'll open this menu and uh, on the y-axis i will go for the revenue okay now what i need to do is i need to just add this particular parameter of field into my this particular visual okay so for doing that we'll go to data and uh, you can see here we have a table separate table chosen field and i will just check mark on it okay now you can see here this is interactive so any field you select like if you want to see uh, revenue city wise just click on it it will change by payment type okay by product names right so it's dynamic okay let's add time period as well so i will go to again modeling tab then i will click on new parameter fields and let's say give it a name periods going to my data table and i will pick order dates so i want to add quarter month you can add more or less as well click on create change the type of it as well so i will go to format slicer settings and let's say by selection single select okay let's put it right here or anywhere you would like to then again i will click on this all right so it shows me city wise sum of revenue and i need to split like uh, on different time period like quarter wise or month wise so how are we gonna do that very simple uh, just add the periods to this field okay now you can see quarter one two three four and if you select month it will show you month wise so this is very awesome feature you can change the time period as well 